Hello, Internet Dwellers, and welcome back to Bit by Block, the show where we recreate famous movie and television locations inside of Minecraft for the hopes of one day creating a machinima with them. I am your host, Jeff. Yay! All that in five seconds flat. It wasn't five. It was probably ten. I don't care. Welcome back to this episode of the Psycho slash Bates Motel build, and also, as you probably noticed with the thumbnail, the final episode. Um, yes, I realized last week that... While I originally intended this build to be only, you know, a couple episodes, uh, it actually turned into quite a lot more, and it was completely and utterly unintended. So, unintended. How about unintentional? One of those words work. Anyways, so this is the final episode. Um, we are going to just be finishing up the inside of the house and the cellar, and then I might plant a little bit of bushes here, but for the most part, the landscaping is going to be kind of left alone. Um, I've been struggling for whatever reason, apparently, with this particular version of Forge, and this is an established issue. The normal thing that would allow us to create a tree. So right now, I should be able to right-click, and a tree should grow there. But for whatever reason, the single-player command version of uh, Forge uh, does not allow us to do that. So you can build trees, but they're a giant pain in the butt to do manually. So we're kind of just not going to do it. I'll probably go through with uh, some bone meal. What you can do is to at least make this look like it's a little overrun and a little destroyed. We can at least do stuff like this just to kind of help, uh, kind of help, cover this whole area here so it doesn't look like it's just freshly mowed because it shouldn't look freshly mowed i want it to look kind of like it's been slightly unkept maybe like norman kind of kept you know took care of it but didn't really take care of it and that's that's kind of the the point it is supposed to be just a random or not a random hill it's supposed to be just a normal hill so we'll probably do this um, i think there actually is a command i can use to do this on the hill so i don't have to go through by hand and do this sort of thing but uh that'll be for later so just so you can kind of get an idea there that's kind of what oops let's fill this in as well just to kind of fill in all those blocks something like that just so from here it gives it that little extra creepier vibe especially with like ones like that where it sticks out a little bit more than a normal just grass so just looks a little more unkept there so that's kind of what we're going to eventually be doing with this whole hill and there's one or two trees that go into place but we're not gonna be worried about that right now so um nothing uh nothing major happened off camera uh, i just finished kind of throwing in the road over there i did not shift this over um i will mess with that road later on but that's not really important right now the road is not our main concern when it comes to this build the build right now or the main concern is just finishing off the house and Oh, now that I started doing this, I really like how this looks. So this just kind of... Let me just do one more here. Just a couple more, a couple more. I just gotta... It's just... It's an addiction, guys. Seriously. Um, so yeah, today's episode, we're just gonna be finishing off the inside of the house. We're not gonna do a full uh, a full interior uh, build-out. I'm just kind of... Main concern is the front walkway, the mother's room, and then the stairs going down into the basement, and then as, you know, as well as the cellar itself. So just a little bit. Uh, Off-camera, I did finish, which I did notice just a second ago, that this did not get done for some reason. But I did finish replacing these blocks uh, with the darker one. Like I said, I was going to just because the darker one looks a little better. That light one was super bright, especially with the darker wood uh, or, uh, front porch and the darker black roof. It just it looked a little bit better. So uh, I also actually got the shaders mod installed on this so we can take a look at what this is going to look like in kind of a darker, more moody, more semi-realistic lighting sense so okay let's get on with this uh like i said this was not this is not going to be a super detailed inside we're actually i'm not even going to fully furnish a lot of these rooms we are just going to fill in what you would normally what you would kind of see here um i took a bunch of screenshots from the movie itself i wanted to make sure that this area was as accurate as possible so we're gonna get the what do I want to use for this back part here? Uh, we'll just use the chisel quartz box. This will work. So, this is just the kitchen area. We'll just put in cliche tile. We'll pretend that these uh, chisel quartz blocks are actually ch tiles and not uh, technically bricks. But we're just going to fill all you in. Just like that. 
we'll fill in you in because this is the back porchy area and like that okay and then what we're going to use for the walls inside we will just use and they're actually colored so maybe what we'll do is maybe we'll use the hardened clay just uh so it's not white i don't i don't really want to put white walls in everywhere oh and i just i threw in uh, glowstone so you could see because otherwise much like that it's really hard to see in these rooms very very quickly so uh well we're gonna just use this for the walls inside the house just to help separate all that out uh i also realized oh boy it's really dark in here too isn't it Oop, there we go um this is all front this is all the inside, which actually on the inside of the house, I know I just laid that, but what do we have? We have spruce wood. We are going to use the dark oak planks inside the house because this will just look a little, uh, help separate it from the front porch. I don't want the same wood going from outside, you know, to inside the house. We're going to do that one like that. I want it to be a darker wood. The inside of the house itself has a lot of carpet in it as well, but I want it to be a little more elegant, a little more uh, fancy, if you will, <laughs> uh, just to kind of help uh, separate, make it look like it is the inside of a house, because it would be a little more darker wood, and then we'll, you know, you would have rugs down and all that fun stuff. But we're just going to do this right through here, just like so so much easier with this tool and yes I realize there is an easier way for me to be doing this and I don't have to be doing that all by hand but I don't care good enough um so that actually came you know we're just gonna fill you in we're just gonna do that there we go so that's like the front little dining area um yeah I'm not gonna put I'm like I said I'm not gonna do two walls thick for that because that's not necessary but we're gonna do this all the way up so we're starting to get some of the division here of the rooms so we can kind of see a little better. And like I said, this was my biggest concern was this portion because it's like it's not very large. And this is why I struggled so much for trying to figure out what the what the, the correct proportions were going to be for this build because I wanted to make sure that it did look at least remotely okay, you know. Okay, so back here we will actually just use the white clay because... If this is the kitchen, we will pretend that this portion was just white-walled. And we will put the doorway... Actually, we're going to put the doorway there, not... We're going to put the doorway there. Like so. And then we can replace you. There we go. And we'll replace you. Perfecto. So that's the back door. Okay, and then this would lead us into... Uh, the front little, this is actually the dining area. Sorry, the room over there was the front sitting room. So this we will fill in. Yeah, I know, it's so flippin' dark on my screen. What? what? Don't go to that one. I don't want that one. Uh, but yeah, so this will be the final episode. We're going to be finishing up on this build. So any suggestions uh, for the next build, let us know. I am going to be taking a little bit of a break here between these builds while I uh, do some more research and, and just trying to do some more practice. I want to learn a couple of new techniques before we get started. What did I do up there? Why did you do that? Huh, so my second floor is a little off, apparently. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why that is. Okay, I won't worry about that for now. I'm gonna do that for that cross beam. Okay, so then our stairs going up. So let's get rid of you. Actually, I need, I need one of you over here for now, because we're not gonna get rid of you. So let's Oh, how are we going to do the stairs? Because with not being able to actually use steps because we're at an angle. Hmm. I just thought of that. That's going to be a problem. Oh, actually, we could do that, can't we? Huh. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be a little goofy. Oh, see, it just looks goofy, though, doesn't it? I guess if we do it at a complete angle like that, maybe it won't be. So if I do that, and then, no, no, come on, come on, turn, turn, there we go. And then we just turn it that way. Oh, but that looks weird. Turn it that way then, right? So it's like stair, stair, stair. So building at this angle 
has been nothing but <laughs> complications. And again, it looks right from the outside. It is at the correct angle. Well, for more or less. But I could have done so much just more with this build if we had not built it this way. Um, you know what? It's so dark. Can I... Where's my... Where's my... Where is my screen? Video settings. There we go. Uh, can I not adjust my brightness? Oh, right there. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to jack this sucker up. And... Oh, that's so much better. Now everybody can see. See? Look at that. Uh, Alright, so then what we're going to do is we're just going to fill in... So this does have something, okay, going all the way up. Then there's a railing here before it actually goes downstairs. So, oh, and then the other key thing here, what makes this, what's going to help this, is actually this is all open to the first floor. Let's see here. So if we go at an angle like this, just like this. And actually, I'm actually pretty certain this is not enclosed. I think this is all just a giant uh, atrium there. Because it goes down to about there and it turns. So actually, let's do. Let's do that, maybe. Yeah, we'll do that, maybe. Okay, so one more build, one more staircase up here. So let's do you, and then turn, and turn. Oops, I need you to be like that, don't I? Yeah, there you go. So then step, 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 step. And then hit, 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 hit. Get rid of you. Like that. Okay, so this is actually, oops, I need you. Yep. Nope, I need you too. <laughs> so this is actually the wall. So the wall is going to keep going straight up. I just realized I did not put a ceiling on this. Oh, yes, that's right. I should have done that off camera. Um, so this will just go up like so, all the way upstairs. And there will be a ceiling on this. I forgot. Oh, I'm just knocking bricks all over the place. It's really warm in my place right now, so I'm actually kind of sweating a little bit. It's kind of hot here. Uh, so we're gonna go up like that. So I'm kind of just, sorry. So my mind is slipping, is basically what I was trying to say there. Um, so and there is a railing going across. Ugh, this whole thing just is gonna look like crap. Get rid of you. I don't need you there right now. Okay, everybody, I am going to figure out this all in a time lapse. I'm going to do this all in the, in, in, in the rest of the episode, or not the rest of the episode, sorry. Okay, everybody, I'm going to finish off the roof up here, and I'm going to try to figure out what this whole upstairs portion is going to look like. Um in a time lapse, because this is this is just boring stuff, and you don't really necessarily want to watch all of this uh because i need to figure out the best way to achieve what i want uh <laughs> what i want here and uh right now it's not uh it's not working the way i want it to work oh yeah because that ugh, so that is in the wrong spot entirely so that doorway's got to be like there like that we don't need that yeah, so the upstairs is not going to be entirely accurate. You can't even see what I'm doing up here, can you? Eh, light. Oh, look, there's a whole upstairs here. All right, so I'm going to do the rest of this in time lapse, and I'll be back with you guys when I get that figured out.
All right, everybody, and we're back. Uh, so basically what I just kind of did is I finished filling off the walls I put in the roof there, and I put down this carpet here. There is supposed to be a, uh, like a continuous rug uh, all through the house. I didn't put it all the way up against the corners because it's not full-blown carpeting. It's you know runner rugs and such like that along on top of the hardwood floors and because just like on the front porch where we can't connect the fence posts at an angle these will just have to do for railings until something better is figured out um the house does in fact have a small little room up front here it's probably storage or something like that or it could actually be connected into this room which is norman's room itself it's where all his toys is kept um in the build or excuse me in the actual house uh set uh there's uh, you can come up here. There's an extra set of stairs that go back here, and then there's this is like a slightly raised portion that goes back into this uh, side. I I'm not gonna do that for this build because again, I'm not hugely concerned with what over he what's over here. I'm more concerned, really. I'm really concerned about the house. But um, what we're gonna do for this portion. So the scale is a little bit off. This window should probably be here. This wall should be back one more um because what happens is, is when marion's sister comes in she actually steps over here there's a fireplace along that wall um and actually i just realized this is enclosed i don't want it there so we are fudging this again a little bit more than what it actually is in the house um I'm not going to put a whole lot of work into this. Uh, second thought, I kind of started looking into this house, and I'm not really concerned right now with the interior of the build. I'm more concerned uh, just kind of getting the basics in place. So with where this is, uh, so she's got a bed. We're going to build this the same way we built the beds down below. Uh, we're just going to use snow, and um, we'll use clay. Uh, we will use, we're actually just going to use the, yeah, we'll just use the orange clay for this. And then we will put, uh, put the dark oak. Okay, so we're just going to build a mother's bed real quick here. And fudge it a little bit. So she's got a giant headboard, just like that. And... What we're going to do is we're going to put bed there. Ah, you know what? That's the same color as that, isn't it? All right, we're going to use a different type of color then. Let us use... Let's pretend Mother had pink. There we go. Because <laughs> uh, that's exactly what I think of when I think of a dead woman. Spoilers, I guess, for Psycho? I guess. All right. So, yeah, we are going to go all the way out like that. And then I'm just going to do this for the pillows, like so. Footboard, maybe? God, that's so tiny. This place is so tiny. Okay, so we're basically just going to be able to do Mother's Bed, uh, which I just realized is blocking that window. So guess what? Mother's Bed is now only that wide. <laughs> Man, this, yeah, this whole building at an angle thing just sucks. Okay. Um, all right, that's just going to be good enough. So really the main thing that I want to do is I want, and you're going to laugh at me when I show this, but I want to do Mother Standing in the Window. This was kind of the main thought about this whole upstairs thing here. So, okay, so if that is... Yeah, so actually, I should, if I can sit down here, actually I want it to be looking out. So we're gonna do, we'll put there. All right, we're gonna push this out of the way for now. Put you there. Need to get my glass back. There we go. Come on, get inside, there we go. And like that, and then what we're gonna do is, where is my, yeah, you're going to put, <laughs> oh my goodness, this is, yep, we're going to do this, and then we will put that on her. Ah, why did I, how did I lose that one? I need you. So we're going to put you on, you on, and you on. 
and then, and that way, from inside here, we put that in there like so, from a distance, put a light here, hoping. <laughs> yeah, you can just barely make out there's somebody in the window. Uh, yep, that's that's really the only thing I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted it to be so that way if we're out here, now I mean we're super far away, you're not going to be able to tell necessarily. But my thought was, so if we do, oops, uh, let's do 22,000. Make it dark. There we go. I wanted it to be so that way, if it was dark, you could faintly see somebody standing in the in the window there. I just I like the idea. That there's somebody up there, like looking out. <laughs> that uh, that makes me happy. Um, this is kind of creepy at night. So uh, what we're gonna do to finish it off? I know these aren't very cool looking lights. Um, we probably could actually just use beacons, but those aren't going to be as bright, but that could be okay. So if I got rid of you and I did that, they just at least look a little more, quote unquote. Whoa. Oh, we could do that. That's okay. So we do you look a little more like uh, front hallway lights or, you know, house lights. I just don't want it to look like we have just a cliche glowstone sticking in there. That's just, that's a little bit too, <laughs> that's too much. That's crossing the line, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, there you go. Hi, Mother. Uh, <laughs> so that's all, this is all I'm going to do for, for Mother's room. I'm not really hugely concerned now about that. So, and then downstairs, what we are going to do um, with this portion of it I'm gonna put one there for now. So this actually is a bricked base. So we're going to use my nether brick um, right there. And then we'll just do that to replace all that. Prepare for it to be super dark in a second. There we go. Yeah, all right. And then for these, Even with this thing on the brightest settings, it's so dark and I hate it. I can't see. Um, so now I can't go down too, well, no, actually we built this portion up, didn't we? So we could go down a little bit. Oops, what do I, nope, that needs to be like that. So step, 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 and then I just need normal cement stone here. Is that low enough under the house? Uh, nope, we need to go one more. This one needs to be that base. It needs to be the base of the house, actually. So we need to go down one more. Doop -a doop And then down. So there would be a door there, per se. And then down. Okay. Oh, man, I got rid of my... Uh... So we do you. There's a railing here. It's just gonna be good enough. Down, 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 down. Okay, let me get up my other screenshots here, guys. Very exciting episode. Very exciting. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am sorry. This whole this 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 section is a little tougher to actually nail for some reason. So that comes down. This is a solid wall over. This can all be just kind of carved out a little bit more. The power of glowstone compels you. There we go. So what it is, is as she comes down, there is a... Uh, there we go. So we're just going to do this. There's a little bit of a, a landing here. This is the... This is actually the doorway uh, in... And then that's all brick. This whole this whole bottom portion is all brick here, but then we'll knock you out because that is the floorboard from above. Whether or not you can see that. <laughs> um, so this just kind of goes back a little bit. 
Had I thought about this sooner, I would have just built this when we were building the actual house. But I did not think that far in advance. Um, and then this steps down one more step. Much further. Let's go one more. Let's just go one more. Uh, this comes down one more little step down, like so. And then she crosses over into... So this is all just like a furnace and, and the normal basement stuff. Um, but, uh... So what is it here? So if we go like this, we are actually going... to try to maintain this little angle. Brick. this over, and then this is just our foundation of the house. Like so. Um, actually, based upon the way that I was doing that, it should be along that line. Just pay no attention to that. <laughs> so this will come across, and then there's another room back here, which is the wine cellar. So we're going to do one more. So we're going to do this wall right here. And then this one's going to come across like that. Ah, what am I hitting? Oh, okay. No, we need to go over. We need to go one more. We need to go here, 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 and here. That was too tight. There we go. That's better. So we're going to come over like this. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, see, that's what I was trying to, I was trying to find that, I was trying to find where our, oh man, our foundation's way over there, isn't it? So really, okay, so to keep this as accurate as I possibly can be, that is actually where the wall needs to be, like so, and you, and you. That is the foundation of the house. It's like that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock this one down, knock it back, bring you over. So we actually do, we just come down into this a little bit sooner so we have the proper turn. And then, all right, well, let's go upstairs real quick. Let's just help myself make this a little easier. Let's make it be daytime so we can see ourselves out there. Oh, I set it right back to the same time, didn't I? There we go. Ah, need that, this, you. Okay, so then grass, grass, grass. So we're just gonna take this out like so. There we go. Okay, so we're just digging this out so we know where the edge of the house is, so we don't make our same mistake again. So then where these are, so that can all be emptied out, this is... Okay, so then, where's my bricks? These need to be bricked up. Like that. Okay, so 
it will, uh, it's gonna be there. <laughs> just cause, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna have to just be there because we have no other way to, or nowhere else to put it. We knocked that back. Oh, no, wait, that's why I did that, didn't I? It's because it's right there. So it comes down here, and we turn in here, and this is the storm cellar. Why did I destroy that? Big one? one more block deeper. Yet. So we just fill in all of you with one more row. And we're just going to fill all of you in with brick. Filling you with cement. And we're going to do the exact same thing. <laughs> Put our face in that way. And then just so there's something down here, there is a workbench. Oops, nope, I want the uh, slabs. Uh, there is a workbench down here, which we will make out of the spruce wood. Like so. And there's a couple of boxes. Let's get some chest. Put a bunch of chests back here, making it look like he's been storing stuff. Stuff like that. There we go. And there she's sitting. All right. Let's go back outside real quick and just take a quick gander at what this looks like. Got to fix the ground over here. Just like so. Just like that. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do real quick off camera is I wanna finish kinda of putting in the rest of this, uh, rest of this decoration on the outside and I'll be right back with you guys for the finale. All right, and with that, we are wrapped up with this particular episode. Uh, like I said, just real quick what I did there, we just filled in the remaining kind of hill here. And uh, yeah, there's no trees. I would like there to be a few trees and a few bushes scattered throughout. Um, but until I can figure out an easier way to do that without having to do it all by hand, I am, uh, I'm just going to hold off on doing that. We'll come back. Maybe in the future we'll do like a revisited episode if we start learning better ways to do some of these uh, builds. Um, and then we'll come back and kind of tweak some of the designs. So let's just fly by really quick with everything that we did so we first built off all of the actual motel area itself um, all duplicated with uh, the same basically the same room design but that's fine because it is a motel um, and they're supposed to be kind of the same so we built all of this through here complete with Marion's room and the front uh, desk check-in so Marion's room is the most detailed uh, complete with people into <laughs> the uh, uh, Norman's back room there. So we built that off. We built the manager's room. Had a little difficulty trying to figure out the correct level and the height so we could build what we wanted to. And then uh, built up here, going up into the house, which we will actually walk up just to kind of see that looming house there. It would be a lot more dramatic if it was at nighttime. <laughs> uh, but then the actual house itself. And this is where we kind of just, we got a little lazy and just, Got the basicness or the basic necessities down for what we'd be needing. Ah, uh, Mrs. Bates in the wine cellar, and then of course Mrs. Bates upstairs. Well, I guess that technically spoilers. This is Norman, but uh, her also standing up there. So with that, we are uh, we're actually done uh, with this build with the Bates Motel Psycho House build. Uh, I do really really quickly want to um, switch this over into the shaders mod just to kind of get you guys a good look at what this would look like in uh, much better lighting and at night. So let's switch to that. Boom. All right, so with the shaders mod on, I actually added a couple little lights here and there just to help. Uh, 
brighten this particular area up. Also, sorry for the massive uh, <laughs> frame drop. My computer can handle this, but not while we're also recording and uh, and and doing a lot of stuff. So this is what the Bates Motel itself looks like um, at night. Pretty pretty good, pretty good actually. And then going up into the house here, as you can see, I did put some lights, like I said, um, just in spots and covered them up with a green carpet slab, so that way it's not a very noticeable just thing of light shining up from the ground um and then with the shaders mod on obviously the house looks really dark but with shaders mods on i put a couple lights up there behind norman so now it's a little creepier there's just something up there and that's uh that's what i like i like that i just like that uh uh <laughs> unknown thing basically being up in the window so yes well with that everybody um i'm gonna put my light back in my hand and let's see how well we'll end this with seeing me are you gonna where am i at what oh, oh, oh there we go wait wait and where's the house where's the house where's the house there we go well with that everybody we are done with the psycho bates motel build so um for everybody here at bit by block apparently the background is phasing in and out of existence can i back up a little bit and get that back uh, come on, eh, eh, eh. Come on, computer. You can handle it. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's actually. Let's just. Let's. <laughs> let's turn the shaders off and just go back to normal real quick. Um, there we go. All right. So with that, everybody. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna take a little bit of break from the series and try to figure out a couple new things to do with it, figure out some new builds, and then I'll come back uh, better than ever with a new build. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, if you have any suggestions for builds, let us know as well, because I could always use some extra help trying to figure out what to build. But until next time, everybody, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, you know, the psycho string thing. The ree, ree, ree. Could have just, yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs>